What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be walking you through playing Repo on your MacBook or your Apple computer in general, hashtag Apple Gaming, uh, for free. Um, there are paid ways to do this, but if you're just testing it to see if it's uh, going to work or going to run okay or if it's something that you want to do, um, this is a free way to do that. There is a little bit of setup, um, but I will be walking you through all of that. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to this link. By the way, all the links will be in the description below. Uh, we're going to go to this link, getwhiskey.app, and then we're going to click download the latest. This is the thing that we're going to be using to run um, Steam through. Um, I don't know exactly what this is. I think it's like some kind of like emulator or something. I, I don't know all the, the nuance to it. You can see here, this isn't my first... Uh, this isn't my first walkthrough, so we could actually delete these. Um, but if you double click this, what will happen is it'll open up, uh, it'll unzip the file. You'll get this application here. You'll double click this and then walk through the installation. Uh, for some reason, it didn't manually add it to my applications. I had to like drag this over into my applications. Um, I'm not going to do all that again, though, because I have already begun um, doing some stuff on there and I don't want to wipe it out. So we're going to leave this as is for now, but you guys can go through and install whiskey. Um, like I said, super basic setup. It walks you through everything that you need to do. You're just clicking buttons and letting it do its work. Um, so once you have whiskey installed, you would think, ah, I need to download steam from the steam store um, using the uh, Microsoft or windows uh, version. Well, since uh, Whiskey is no longer being actively maintained, as it says down here, um, the newer Steam versions are not going to work properly. And so what that means is you will have to uh, download it from, it gives you like this uh, place to download it from and kind of walks you through. I think that they did this actually, well, it is obviously recently. Um, but this is like a relatively new bug uh, with this thing. So anyway, uh, but this guy over here, our boy Mike the Tech, has a great tutorial on how to work around that. Um, but you don't have to watch that video. I'm going to walk you through it. Um, so he luckily, by the way, go subscribe to Mike the Tech. Um, but he has a the link that we need and the arguments that we need to add. Um, so over here, what they have on their documentation is the link to install the version of Steam that we want. For some reason, this like uh, web archive thing doesn't work anymore, I guess. Um, but he has our files that we need right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up this and it's going to automatically download the correct version of Steam that we need. Um, and then while that's going, we're going to also copy these arguments for future usage. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in whiskey and we're going to open. And I am going to uh, create a new uh, bottle, which is what each of these little environments is called. And we're going to call this Steam Demo. And you could select your Windows version in here. Um, I selected Windows 10 for mine, um, and I'm going to do that in this tutorial, but I don't know if this will work for Windows 11. I assume it will, um, and I don't know about the other Windows versions. I I assume it'll work for Windows 11. Uh, anything below 10, uh, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, we'll go ahead and create this new bottle, and We'll let this bad boy stop spinning as soon as that's done. Maybe it doesn't stop spinning. I don't know. But what we're going to do now is we're going to open up our C drive. And you'll see here that now we have this drive C open. What we're going to do is we're going to unzip that Steam file um, that our boy Mike the Tech was so... Um, was such a good person and willing to give it to us. Uh, then we're going to go into our program files and we're just going to copy this entire, um, you can't drag it over for some reason. It doesn't work that way. Um, you have to copy the folder and then we're going to go ahead and uh, paste that into our program files. 
the whole thing. And then we're going to wait. And then I'm going to exit out of this. We don't need this anymore. And now we have Steam in here, which is great. Uh, we're going to close out of that. So once you've added Steam into here, what we're going to do is we're going to hit refresh. And then we're going to go to installed programs. And then we're going to come down here where we see steam.exe. And we're going to hit this little cog right here and then come back over. Um, I still have them copied, but you're going to want to copy these arguments that are down here. And by the way, these links along with the link to Mike's channel will all be in the description of this video. So you don't have to go to this video to grab those. Um, but then we're going to go ahead and paste in our arguments. And then we're going to hit the back button. And then from in here, we can run it. Um, and then if we click run, it's going to take a second. It just is what it is. There we go. All right. So now we have this open. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my login details. All right. So um, I've blocked it out, but I went and grabbed uh, my login details and you can't see them, but they're in here. We're going to click sign in. All right. So now we are signed in after this thing is done spinning. There we go. Boom. Now we're into Steam. Look at us. We're cooking with fire, guys. And we're going to close out of that. We're going to go over to our library. Downloads. We don't have anything downloaded, obviously. Uh, we're going to come back into here, and we're going to find uh, R, which is repo. That is in here, and we're going to install this. Install the local drive C. I'm going to wait for this to download. Shouldn't take too long. I'm waiting. Nice. Um, so one of the bugs that I experienced was cloud status out of sync. Oh, this must have to do with me um, being out of or on like the wrong Steam version. Interesting. Um, anyway, the first bug that I noticed was like when I was trying to like zoom in and out with like the items in my hand, it would. Uh, It would like zoom in and out on my screen. And so we're gonna host the game. Yes, new game. Yes. And so um, the other bug that I noticed is when you go to delete saves. Um, so like if I leave this game, it's already created like a save file. Um, but if I come into here again and I go to host game, yes, I'm sure. And I, delete the save and I say yes it doesn't do it on here so then I have to like click no and then I go back um, yes um, I what the hell That's a weird bug. That's weird. I noticed that during my playthrough, but my save was like layered over that. So that is super interesting. All right, so I don't know what this save is. Um, honestly, I just saw this. This is weird. Um, I'm not really sure where this came from because this is obviously not my username. Super odd. 
Yes, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know where that's coming from. Yes, I'd like to start a new game. Okay. Anyway, when you uh, go to, like, delete a game after you create one, you have to, like, manually refresh the menu. Um, not manually refresh the menu, but uh, yes. All right, so this is my repo save. And then if I click delete, no, and it's still here, we go back, we go to host game. Yes, it's gone. I don't know what this is. Um, maybe you guys will experience a similar thing. Let me know if you do. But this is this is weird that this is in here. I've never seen this before. So this must be like some kind of bug with like that sync data thing. Um, but hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Um, if you enjoyed it and it was helpful, leave a like. Um, leave a comment if you need help. I'll do my best, no guarantees. And also, I'm not sure how long this is going to continue to work. So, um, but yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.